Hey guys, Reese back again, and we're going to be doing the solo section for the song Living Nightmare. The song is full of bends, full of squeals. Don't be a pussy, bend that string. <laughs> So let's break down the solo section for Living Nightmare. Plenty of things to go over, gotta get on them bends. Let's do this. So we're basically in the key of D for this solo, going a couple different positions in the neck. Um, starting with big bends, and I can't emphasize bends enough, and squeals, and just adding personality to your soloing, whatever you're doing. So if you're playing this solo, do whatever you want to with it, with the, with the bends and squeals and just shake them all around because it just it brings life to it. There's no nothing better, nothing better. So let's start with the big bend. Okay, one more time. And then... And that's it for that section. And then going on to... Okay. So, going on to the arpeggio at the end. I'm breaking down this arpeggio. The arpeggio shows up in a lot in my solos and in the previous videos. And I'm basically breaking it down in a different way. And it goes like this. One more time. And then going on to two bends. A whole bend, a whole note bend. Basically like a half note bend. So I'll do it all together. So this next section I might catch a lot of shit for um, because it's very inspired by Gypsy Jazz. I'm not saying that I know Gypsy Jazz. I'm not saying that I've even took the proper steps to learning it. I'm very inspired by it. It's very awesome to listen to. And I'm basically just, just messing it up enough for me to, to put it in one of my solos. It's nothing proper. It just has a, a, some timing and some rhythm, some rhythm style things going on with it. And I thought it sounded really neat. I am in no way, shape or form an expert on it. So don't give me a, <laughs> don't, don't, don't grill me. Here we go. One more time, a little bit slower. So basically, I have that kind of swinging, you know, timing going on, or rhythm going on. Uh, instead of doing a billion notes a second and, you know, going all out shred, I'm kind of letting the, the air in between the notes actually do way more, um, which I think is really, really um, interesting. So let me go through that whole section again, just so you have an idea of what rhythm I was going for when I wrote the solo. So check this out. I hope you enjoyed the solo section for Living Nightmare. If you want to leave some comments in the comment section below, let me know if you want to hear some more solos and I'll break them down for you. Until then, we have rad music videos to check out. We have the solo sections previous to this one. Go on our Facebook, like a bunch of our posts, 
Go to our Instagrams, like all of our dumb pictures, and yeah, that's it. Until next time.